Hi guys, Frank here with Build Your Own, and in this video I'm going to show you how to find top dead center using this top dead center indicator whistle. To be more specific, I'm going to help you find top dead center on your Chevy 4.3 liter V6 engine. While I know this procedure works with other engines, I'll specifically be talking about the Chevy 4.3 V6 engine because, well, that's what I have in my truck and that's what I know about. So the next time you're needing to locate top dead center on your Chevy 4.3 liter V6 engine, a top dead center whistle really helps. You simply thread it into the number one cylinder and it whistles on the compression stroke and stops whistling at approximately top dead center. A few of the many examples of when needed are timing chain inspection or replacement, distributor installation, and cylinder leak down. I'll be replacing my intake manifold gasket so I'll have to remove the distributor which I've never done before. So I wanted to know how to find top dead center on the truck before I actually started the job. I figured out how to do it without any tools and I'll talk about how you can do that later. For now, let's use this top dead center whistle and hook it up to the truck and see how it works. So on my Chevy 4.3 liter V6 engine, the number one cylinder is on the driver's side, the first cylinder here. I actually have some aftermarket wires that actually already have the uh, cylinders labeled so you can easily see that it's number one here. Finding top dead center on the compression stroke when you are working by yourself is sometimes not so easy. This whistle is very sensitive to piston movement, the slightest rotation of the crank, even one or two degrees will sound the whistle. Okay, so here's what we need to do. The first thing we need to do really is disconnect the negative battery cable. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the air cleaner element and the, the cap for the rotor so we can see the, uh, or the cap for the distributor so we can actually see the rotor turn because also when this is lined up at top dead center, that rotor should be pointing at the number one cylinder. So let me get all that set up. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is disconnect the negative battery cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real fast. All right. The next step is we're gonna remove this uh, air cleaner. For my truck, I've got an aftermarket air cleaner, so it's really simple to do. Uh, the stock unit is a little more involved, but it's still straightforward. So after we've got the air cooler or air cleaner removed now, now I can go ahead and remove this distributor cap. So let me get up there so I can do that. Okay, so we gotta remove this distributor cap. It's got a couple of Phillips head screws, one on this side, one on the other side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew these and we'll go ahead and remove this cap. So that way we can see the rotor. Because like I said, when the, when the engine is at top dead center for uh, the number one cylinder, then the number one rotor or the rotor should be pointing at the number one cylinder so i'm going to verify we're going to find out if that theory is in true is is in fact true i believe that is a simple way that you can find top dead center but we're going to use this whistle to help us verify that okay so i got the distributor cap off and it's set clearly off to the side so that way as the rotor turns it won't brush up against the cap and it almost looks like the engine is at top dead center right now i don't know we'll look at that a little closer here in a minute we still need to do a couple of things i'm going to go ahead and remove this shroud i already started doing that i'm going to remove this shroud so that way i can get my hands on the crank and actually turn the pulley so i can turn the engine over that'll be easier to do and then i also still need to take the uh, spark plug out of the number one cylinder and go ahead and thread that uh, the spark plug whistle or the top dead center whistle will just screw right into here so let me go ahead and do those other two things real quick and then we'll be ready to go ahead and do this okay so we got all the pieces off the truck now and i have the top dead center whistle threaded into cylinder number one and honestly that was probably the hardest part because this whole thing turns as a unit so as you can see i kind of strung it out the other side of the truck here so i could just turn the whole thing in as straight a line as possible and it's it's in there now nice and tight so now we're ready to actually find top dead center okay so the first thing we really need to do is take a look at the timing marks and then look at the grooves that are cut out on the uh, harmonic balancer so we already know that 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 rotor seems to be almost pointing right at distributor number one or cylinder number one let's get a close look at these timing marks i set up a light down here hopefully we can get a good look okay so we can see the timing marks and those are located by this tab that's right here so as you can see we're down here on the harmonic balancer and we can actually see the timing marks i'm going to go ahead and put a picture up right now because my timing marks have rust and all that over them like many of them do. So that way we can actually see where the zero degree mark is. 
Now, if we look a little bit further down this wheel, we can actually see one of the grooves. There's a groove there, and then there's actually another groove that's a little bit further back on the wheel coming up on the timing marks. I actually think that it's this first groove mark that we're gonna be lining up at zero degrees at top dead center and not the second mark. But you know what? That's what this top dead center whistles for. It's gonna help us figure that out. So now all I really need to do is just get a, a, a wrench on that, on that pulley there so I can go ahead and turn this over and we can see where this engine's at. I forgot to mention this part, but you're gonna need to put your truck in neutral so you can actually turn the engine over by hand. So that way you disengage it from the transmission. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn this engine over by hand. We can watch the rotor and figure out where top dead center is because we can also hear this whistle that's already hooked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. There we go. There we go, here. Okay, so I stopped turning the engine over right as that whistle stopped whistling because per the instructions, the whistle stops whistling right as the engine is at top dead center. I sure enough stop. We can see, hopefully you can see that that hash mark is lined exactly up with the, with the zero degree mark. I mean exactly. And it's actually the second hash mark on the harmonic balancer, not the first one. The first one's a little bit further ahead already. So it's actually the second hash mark here. And let's take a look at where the, uh, the rotor is on the distributor, where it's positioned and where it's pointing. So here we are looking at the distributor and it looks like it's actually just a little bit past the six o'clock position. So. I'm gonna consider this uh, a job well done. I think we found top dead center using the top dead center whistle. It was super simple. And now going forward, when I get ready to replace this intake manifold ga uh, gaskets and I have to pull out this distributor, I'll feel a lot more comfortable doing that. So my theory on if it's a top dead center that the rotor is pointing at cylinder number one, isn't exactly correct. All right, guys, so I got the truck back together. We learned how to find top dead center using a top dead center whistle, uh, and that's great. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing a lot more videos of this truck. Thanks for watching.